Okay, here on 3D Studio, you know, you can see the renderer just did, you know, even though the lights are a little dodgy, not quite, you know, what this guy's doing, I don't know, on a slightly different system, I, I don't know. I says 2012, but, but you can kind of see the caustics in this torus, and, you know, it's starting to work, although I'm not really sure about the pass through on it. Um, Um, you know, involved, you know, certainly going to illumination and the render setup, okay, and activating caustics for one thing, and, uh, you know, tinkered with some of this multipliers here, and he said this is also important, and this down here is important. Um, you know, of course, render, you know, make sure you're a mental ray and all that. Um, You know, on feet and inches on my scale, as you um, might be able to see here. I don't know. Um, let's see. You know, beyond setting it to higher rendering detail, it's pretty much what he did. And then <coughs> he also had to go edit the light properties and turn caustics on in the shadows and and down here and also enter the you know increase the shadow map resolution um, but you know had to you know enter the mental ray shadow map um, he also you know this is this is for the light because I still got the light selected but even the object you had to go turn on caustics as well because there's a caustic setting in the light itself if you go to click on object properties um, I don't know if I can do that yeah here we go <coughs> but um, you know generate caustics so you know we had to you know select that on this and on the uh, object um, to get it to render so, but again, it's still not perfect, and it's still not quite coming out like his are. I mean, I'm not really seeing the uh, the caustics coming through like I'd like. I'm going to try elevating the object and seeing what happens. Yeah, you know, I tried putting it above the scene. Still don't know why I'm getting a backscatter effect, but you know, I think my light is way. Um, too high, um, oops. you know, I think my exposure control needs to be adjusted, um, a little too high, and I didn't happen to notice what his exposure control was. I'm trying to leave it at that. And hit render. Now I got my my renderer locked to the viewport, so I don't have to select it every time. Well, I mean, it still looks splotchy. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I mean, this is a photometric light source, by the way. Um, you know, you click it. Um, you, know, you got to click the actual light on this thing, if you remember. Um, but it is a photometric light source, you know, I don't know, it's pretty weird. Um, you know, it's set to spotlight, and, uh, you know, got the cones all narrowed in. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure, because the splotches don't really show up on his. Bastard. You know, setting, um, you know, setting this up to 300, setting this to Gauss, really didn't do much, but adding an extra zero to this, you know, produce considerably better results. I mean, everything's considerably smoother. Um, oh, 
this is fucking bullshit. And it took a while to render, but you know, with these latest settings, you know, I managed to blur out some of the splots by, you know, turning the sampling radius on. This is up. I also dropped the light down about a thousand. <clears throat> but, you know, well, you got nice, good optical caustics going through the material, you know, you're still not really seeing caustical effects here. And even in his, you know, he couldn't quite get it to work right, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> because you know caustics is still about two light coming through an object and shining on you know a surface and I'm just not really seeing that here so you know these are excellent again um, optical effects here but you know um, I don't know you know not quite what I'd expect for caustics really anyway <clears throat>